Hello, my name is Rachel. Today I'm going to show you how to create just a little soap dish. This is a piece of bisque that I got from Country Love Ceramics in the UK. Um, it's made by Duncan uh, and it's earthenware. I'm going to be painting using, um, well I say painting, I'm really actually going to be sponging with my sponges. So my sponges, uh, there's 109 designs. This is the shell design. And I'm just going to use today just the little ones because it's only a very small dish. And then I'm going to be using, I've already loaded it up, uh, a seahorse that comes in a couple of sizes. And then an actual poppy leaf. Sounds a bit strange, but I thought it looked a little bit like seaweed, so I'm going to be using that. So first of all, you dampen the sponges so they're ready to take colour. And you can apply the colour with um, your finger. So this is the moon sponge, which I use for water and backgrounds, and it creates a fantastic moon. We, we did a, a video earlier, this one here. So you can see what the moon looks like when it's a moon. And now I'm going to create a background uh, with this moon using my colour to clay. So colour to clay comes in um, 18 colours, I think it is, isn't it, Liz? Yeah. Liz is with me helping out. So 18 colours in half pints, four ounce, and then we do complete sets for you to try uh, at a, a good price on Rachel Biostorant's website. And these are two ounce, two ounce pots. So Liz keeps telling me to hold it up a bit <laughs> higher. So, because I can't see what it looks like. Um, so... Right, so onto the painting. It's not going to take very long, and I hope that you'll try it. And I hope you'll go to Rachel Bias Ceramics website where there's a, a thousand plus products for you to to buy and try. And on YouTube, we're going to post at least once a week now on YouTube. So please subscribe and do comment at the bottom what you would like to see because the comments always help. Okay, on to if, if Liz would like to be the cameraman okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just just gently going to sponge this little plate just to create a little bit of a watery look so i'm just going to tap and i've loaded with mint and blue i'm just going to tap a little bit all over i'm getting a slight little line because it's got an edge to the plate so probably should have actually rounded it off a little bit let's round it off that's better okay that's better right so that's probably enough background just to make it blue i might actually drill this plate because it's going to be from for me drill a few holes in it so that it drains the soap because it is actually a footed dish so now i'm going to do um just a, a, a the, the larger of the two seahorses this comes in two sizes so I've just put on with my finger I've put on a little bit of terracotta and then I'm just going to have live a little bit and put a little bit of orange on his back and his scaly bits here into his tail and then bring his tail up with a little bit of red blending it up and maybe put a bit on his tummy like that actually my piece of paper got. There we go. Um, I actually made a tiny bit of pink, I think, here. And then put a bit of brown on the end of his nose, blend up into his body. Okay, so let's see. We don't know what this is going to look like. So you dampen the sponge first and then put the colour on with a brush or your finger. If it's only one colour, you can just pounce it directly into the colour. So just put it down, give it a little wiggle, let the bisque soak it up. So this is um, earthenware, so it pulls the colour quite quickly. And sometimes your sponge actually, as it has, look, <coughs> sticks to the plate. That is the good thing about the colour to clay paints, Rachel, isn't it? That you can blend the colour into the sponge. Yeah, and you, yeah, you don't wear your brushes out. So... It's, uh, yeah, it works works really well. And now, if if for any reason you think it's not solid enough, occasionally it might come out it's slightly speckled. I might not have put because I put the paint on earlier. You can paint a bit in, but I'm actually not going to because I actually like him like that. So I'm just going to give him a little brown eye with a stylus, 
I would say his eyes about there and then he's done so now I'm going to blend with this uh, sponges I mean the sponges can be altered so you can take sponges and you can cut them up and uh, make them slightly different like this one Liz is passing me a snowflake one came with three snowflakes and I made one of them much much smaller and then here this is um, the ivy and I, I wanted to use earlier the ivy leaf on um, one of the pots that I did I did this this Christmas one which if you look on YouTube it may or may not be there yet but this plate we did in how long was this list? About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes and you can see I, I just wanted the little top ivy leaf so I've used it there so I've taken it off and sometimes I've chopped flowers up all the petals into single petals, two petals, three petals and created uh, my pansy pot. Oh Liz there's a good one yeah the pansy pot which there isn't a pansy but I created a pansy out of the hibiscus um, by chopping it into a one part petal, two parts and three parts and then putting it together and you can see this is uh, one that I've done um, onto to bisque this is a throne pot that I've done and I just made up, like I say, out of the hibiscus, I made up the pansies. So you can have to think outside the box. So now I'm going to load the colour. So I've made the, the sponge slightly damp and I'm going to make these le um, leaves, shells, pink. That's because you love leaves. <laughs> That's because I love leaves, this is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit of a garden freak. You might have seen some of my videos on uh, my garden that I've put on Facebook and Instagram. I don't put them on YouTube. But yeah, so there you can see that I've um, put two colours on there. Okay, so I'm going to then just pop the little shell, just touch and let go and it's there and I don't want them to face the same way so touch and let go just put a few on this way and that and if, they, if the paint starts to run out sometimes it looks rather nice to be slightly paler so I've got four on there oh I don't like even numbers so I'm going to put a little tiny bit sometimes I think it looks nice with half so I've just put a little tiny bit in there now I'm going to get the, what's this one? I've forgotten. Conk. 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 It's a great, yeah. great name. So I'm going to get this one and um, I'm going to do this. Let me have a think. I think I might put a little bit of blue in with my pink. So put a little bit of the blue paint in. Make this different colours. So I'm going to start with the blue. A little bit of blue there. And then a little bit of pink there. And then a little bit of, oops, too much. You only use oh, such a, t this, the colour goes so far, you only use a tiny bit of colour. You won't probably even use a teaspoon for this, this project. So, so there I've done that, I've loaded that up. And you need to let, you need to let it soak in a little bit. If it looks shiny, you just need to wait a little bit longer for it to soak in. Maybe just give it one more tap. Because if it's sticking out, then it'll squish a bit on your plate. So again, just touch, wait a second or two, and let go. Can you see how nice that looks blended? Touch, and let go. And if you make finished pieces, you could be churning these out a million miles an hour. And we do paint kits at Rich by Ceramics. If you want to have a go at painting something yourself, we can pack up the sponges that you want. You can have them on loan. And then as long as you bring them back, perfect. And there's no reason why you shouldn't. You don't pay anything for using the tools and the gadgets. You just pay for the bisque that you bought and then we glaze and fire it for you so touch let go touch let go touch 
touch and let go so now I'm going to try my what my little idea with the um the little um can I just point out before you do that Rachel you've got an even number of shells oh my god <laughs> no, that's so good <laughs> I think you I need have, to do a little edge I have, I have to have a little bit extra so Mind you, when I finish this, you see, I might overlap a shell onto this shell. That's true. Yeah. So you're a bit quick off the mark there. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you what I would like, Liz. Can you just get me the, the jade? I'm going to blend this mint colour, which you can tell if you, can, you can't actually see the studio now, but it's actually mint. But it's having a little overhaul shortly. I don't know if it's going to be mint. It depends if I feel like painting such a great big building. I didn't do it myself last time, so... Um, but I haven't really got any any uh, volunteers, so I might have to do it myself or get somebody to do it. Oh, we could have a painting party. Oh, Social that's distancing. Oh, yeah, that's a, good <laughs> a room each. <laughs> <laughs> right, a okay, each. a wall each. So look, I'm just going to put this little raggy, lovely little raggy leaf on the edge. Oh yeah, see, yes. they thought that might look nice. So I like that. Blend, blend, blend little tiny bits on the edge make sure it's gone into the sponge mm. it just kind of finishes it off it just puts a dark color into it which is what it needed so hopefully we're going to do some live videos uh, when Liz comes to help out um, on uh, Facebook so I hope you'll tune in and uh, give them a give them a look and ask us if there's anything that you'd like to see that we haven't shown like some hand painting projects we can do that too so let's get that little fellow in so he's odd have a little bit there and a little bit there and a little bit is that right Liz? No, it's your other shell. Oh no! Oh no! I have to do the other one. Okay, I'll put a little bit, a tiny bit of blue into that one. There we go. So we'll have that here. There we go. I think that looks very sweet. And then if you want a little tip, if you want to see what something looks like when it's finished, all you need to do is spray it with water and you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished. There, look. And then here, Liz is just passing me one, a, a, a large plate that I did. Oh, it's that large, I can't get it in the in this shot. So that's, that's one that's been done just with sponge it's in the middle and this has just been sponged with, a, with a, an ordinary sponge and the base coated with um, a, a, a fan brush and then these are little tapestry stamps which are actually from America and then the little spots you can see that the colour to clay is opaque so you can't see the colour underneath so when you talk about light doesn't go on top of dark in this case it does so um, yeah, I think it's just white underneath. And your little stamp, your little sponges would go around the border of that. Yeah, either. yeah. When mm -hmm. I when I did this, these are very new. The um, the shells, uh, we only did them just before lockdown, so I didn't have uh, this to to put around here. But these could have been put around there. They probably would look quite good. Should we try one? Try one in dark on top of the glaze. See what it looks like. So just pop in the space. Here, yeah, so he would look that would have looked nice. So, and they're easier to use. I like the tapestry stamps, but these are a lot easier to use. They're easier to use as well when you've got like a beveled edge or a rounded edge, or they're much easier than the tapestry stamps to yeah. use for that, aren't they? Because they give, yeah, yeah, they go around corners, yeah. which is great. So, and if you would really like to watch, um. A funny video we've actually we did the christmas video was it last year or the year before um it was the year before wasn't gosh, it gosh it goes so quick oh, yeah it was it yeah was the year before yeah before yeah um and it's actually on youtube or on the website as well and it's um the 12 days of christmas 
all with sponges. All done with sponges. So we've got a sponge and I've kind of converted the um, the song and, and actually sing as well. Well, <laughs> Rachel's using the sponges and Liz's... having a glass of wine. Oh, only one. <laughs> we had and, so much fun. And, and Liz is singing. She's got a lovely voice. So do tune into that. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you go to Rachel Bias. Um, ceramics on the website and look at what we have there and watch some more of our videos and do subscribe and comment at the end of the video and and tell us what you'd like to see next thanks for watching